Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back to another episode of Baltic Crusader E4 and after the, a bit longer episode last time we are preparing for a war against Denmark and Norway again so we've done most of the coring already. There's still Viborg but that's not going to be a problem, we can call that during the war. We'll have two armies at first, we may need to bring in more if need be but... or we m could bring in more if need be. I mean technically we could probably send this army down here to be transported as well to somewhere. But yeah, Denmark doesn't stand a chance, quite frankly. Actually, let's have a look. Do we have any other Casus Belli against Norway? It's only the Conquest, so no, we don't. Well, might as well use the claims that Lübeck has then. So we'll take Kolding for Lübeck. I think that's good enough. And Norway as a go belligerent, so that is going to bring in potentially... Scotland Cleves and Lüneburg. Now Lüneburg is over there. Cleves is down here. Over there. OPM and all that sort of stuff. So it's not going to be a problem. So yeah, let's declare the war. Get that one going there. We've got the fleet here that can go and blockade the straits there. Then you can move in there. You could... We don't have a general on this side, do we? We don't really have the slot open anyway. Let's move in. I'm pretty sure that our army is much better than this. And uh, Lubeck is certainly helping. Let's have a look. Can we... Ooh, we can get more prestige. Like we don't have enough. But sure, we'll take a bit more. And actually, since we got so much money, how about we increase the manpower again? A tiny bit, and then we got stock exchange. Danzig seems good. Nishi Novgorod seems pretty good. I think that's about it. What we can do with that for the time being. Now with the extra cannons from the Lubeckians, that's gonna go rather well here. They got the thirteen thousand men there. Interesting. Right, so they got the <laughs> Norwegians have the eight thousand men there. We can probably keep them. Kind of locked in there, and once we're done with the siege of Bergensus, we can move in with both of the armies at the same time. Now then, uh, we got the core in Viborg, so that's good. We're getting a fair bit of money. Also, the French are blockading here. Oh, right, Lüneburg is over there with. Ooh. Why are the theocratic candidates so poor in stats? As well, we'll go with the militaries again. Oh, it's now senior. Oh, lovely. Okay, I'm expecting this siege to go rather quickly. Oh, we've won the siege of Bergensus. So, pour in. Should be able to win that. Probably even without the reinforcement. Oh, they got a pretty good general there, to be fair. But they don't have any cannons. Okay, but I'll... Yeah, we did win that without reinforcements. Well, let's go and stack wipe them. Oh, they're about to run away. All right then. It's Chase. Also, Finland is going to help a tiny bit by the looks of it. Although I wouldn't count them saving the day, so to speak. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. We're going to stack wipe the Danish army. Oh yeah, that's a massacre. If that's a siege, good Finn. Drop another siege there. Good siege down the capital. In the meanwhile, did we... No, we didn't capture the Norwegian army here. Gather up in Dahl. We're going to Holland. Right, uh, we are getting a fair bit of... Okay, uh, Ladoka, actually. I think... What would be... Oh, tax seems to be the best over there. We'll go with that. So where are you going? You're going over there. And now you're going to too hard. Okay. Let's 
So Munster and Moscovy have ended. And now we got the naval supremacy that they won't be able to do much about here. Let's go and easy this more, shall we? I'm going to sell, I'll send that one, not sell. Seize down the province there and slowly start moving south. I mean, we might be able to get some money from Lunaburg, for example. I don't think I'll be taking any uh, lands from them. Also, potential for large army. We don't quite have that yet. I'm sure that we will soon enough, but not quite yet. The army is there. I think at this point we might as well start flipping the provinces. I suppose I will give all of this uh, to Lübeck. And then all of that is going to be mine. I think, well, Norway still wants to fight. Do they have, they have some lands there. They are allied with Scotland, of course. They still have the army here. Slowly but surely we'll close up there. Are they trying to escape? It might be. Oh, they are sl slippery bastards there. So going back to the outlands. I mean, they can't get past Shrondalag, I don't think. Speaking of which, we should probably upgrade that to Starfort just for the heck of it. And then I wanted to build a fort somewhere around here. Maybe another one around here. Allow me to cover a fair bit of the land. And then there's enough for me to build another manufacturing. I'm sure that we can catch that eventually. Right, in the meanwhile, how is the war over here? We've got plenty of troops on this army. I don't see any enemy armies down here. Let's have a look. Um, Norway is medium, Denmark is low. They've got Mutapa, Lüneburg, Cleves, Augsburg. Okay, so Lüneburg will cease down, we'll take their money, we'll probably go to Cleves and take their money, and Augsburg we can go and take their money. But that's about it, really. Like Mutapa, we're not gonna go to Africa. At least technically they shouldn't be able to go past Strondalag, but of course in it is AI they might just ignore the fort mechanics again. Which seems to be exactly what they're doing. I really hate that. Alright then, let's send in a second army with an actual general so we can go and catch them. Split the army in half again. Manpower in Danzig or... Ooh, two manpower in Danzig. I'll take that. That Norwegian army is very annoying. Oh, we need to kill some Swedish noble rebellion before we can even get there. I mean, I suppose we could have used the transports, but... We're going to that. Well, if you're heading to... No, you're going to Lapland. Mm. 
No, I think we are catching them there. Oh yeah, we are. All about time. No, it's gonna be a snack web. There we go. No longer annoying Norwegian army. Running around here. Right, so Lunenburg has been seized down. Let's go to Cleves. I'll pay 60 ducats. War reparations. Sure, I'll take that. Right, Scotland. Oh, hold on. Scotland has low. Are they? Oh, they got a lot of rebellion. I'm just going to let them peace out. A white peace. Also, we could take another mill idea. That would lower the land maintenance. Or we can. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll take that. More money is always more money. Oh, right. We lost some of the military access things there. Oh, I'll just need to reroute. To get back home. Right, so Norway is still medium. The enemies have barely any ships. One thing that I could do is I could go in the land over there in those islands. Honestly, after the running that they had me do, yeah, I'll do that. Right, so we should probably... Oh, right, this is one of the states that we could do, and it's very close to our homeland, so we might as well do that. Now then, I suppose we could slowly start getting rid of some of, more of those things. I mean, we've got Absolution 55 right now, which is... Which of these are things that we can actually afford losing? We don't want to lose the ma Well, actually, we'll probably get rid of the manpower, actually. But then... Well, the... Inf Wait, is that influence? Oh, it is influence. It does increase our manpower by 5%. But at the same time, it's not huge. Lowers the actual losses by 5 So yeah, we'll... I think we'll get rid of this one. Now, they are a bit petty for the time being, but that should be improving in... relatively quickly. Oh, and there's... Augsburg has an army there. Alrighty then. Go and clean up. Okay, so that is not beyond the reach of our supply ships, so we can actually go there and not take any attrition. Well, I mean, the troops will take attrition, but the ships won't. That's a bit of a detour, I'd say. Uh, we'll fight them in Berlin. Uh, it's probably going to be a stack wipe. Oh, yeah. Alright, then do we have... Well, I suppose we could increase our mercantilism once again. We've got a lot of cash. Alright, then. Uh, more soldier households. Building these is just increasing our manpower limit. Quite significantly. It's already almost 400,000. Right, time to land troops. And sure, we'll do a troop at Cleves. Did it stop arm movement again, maybe? Right, the loyalty and ability is still... Well, actually, if we summon the Dyer, that should get rid of that. And... Wait, are we not allied with... Uh... Oh, either myself or the Pope needs to own Rome. Okay, well, that's a bit of a problem. Lublin, have a conscription center. I think I can do that. Okay, yeah, we'll start building it. It's actually not a bad building to have, in all fairness. It will allow us to have a bit larger army. We should probably build more of those, but... I've been increasing the manpower first. Which means that we have a huge manpower pool, to be fair. Right, Norway has a low enthusiasm. Let's have a look. What could we take? If we took that, would that be a coalition of... Well, it's a few nations, but nothing too bad. 
If I was to take Orkneys, and maybe Faroe Islands, they wouldn't give me Faroe Islands, and I could even take Iceland if I want to. Hmm. Well, I mean... Oh, right, we're allied to Trebizond. I forgot. Trebizond is not doing very strong, though, but they're still alive. We've got a few provinces here. One and two there. Oh, right, and we've got another state around here, probably. Uh, so Norway would not accept this yet. That would cost us a lot of points, actually, so how about we don't take everything? I think we'll take the Shetland Islands, but nothing else. That's still going to cost us 200 Diplo points. We'll take the money. I'll take War up, so we won't be able to do this peace deal quite yet, but it shouldn't take too long. And I'll let them regain their strength a tiny bit before I send them to Orkneys. Or maybe they'll accept that now. Ooh, more admin points or more devotion. I think we are going to take the admin points. Siege of Augsburg has been done. I'll just send these armies back home. Oh, we can't. Because, okay. Um, Alright then, Augsburg. Give all your money. War of, I'm going to actually force your religion as well. There we go, so that means that there's a bit more Catholic nations again. Right, we have a lot of cash. So how about we build yet another one of the manufactories? Noble Rebellion in fair or lose trade efficiency? Calorie cost would go down. What is our situation right now? We are fully on the military side. Which, to be fair, is in bad place to be. Well, I think we can manage 11,000 there. Although, do we have any armies that it's actually doing the... Oh yeah, we do. Well then, I'll leave you to it. Now, would Norway accept the peace deal yet? Nope. Go to Orkneys, and then to the Faroe Islands. Do they have any other colonies somewhere? I'm wondering, maybe, maybe not. Adventurous merchants. Straight range and avoid travel time goes down. That's nice. I think I'm actually going to send one of these armies to the east to fight Muscovites again. We do already have one army down this way. And then we have one army over here which we could potentially use. Just with Finland ended. That's not particularly a bad thing. Ooh, nobility. We really need to increase their loyalty, so we'll just take that one. We'll take the hit for now. Also, stock exchanges uh, never would be pretty good. Riga would be pretty nice. Moscow, Novgorod, Warsaw, Scotland. Right, so we received that one. Excellent. We do have the army here that is going east now. Good. And there's only Matapa, Denmark, and Norway in this. Now, Norway, are you willing to get a truce yet? No, okay. Maybe if we. A oh, truce of Papal State ended. Maybe if we don't take the money. Oh, you'd be willing to give me 79 ducats. Well, actually, no, you are willing to give me more, but for some reason that's what it suggests first. 170 ducats. I think I'll take that. Right, so let's uh, core everything. Not that far ahead in tech anymore. I mean, we're still 70 years, so it's not bad, but slowly but surely we're losing the advantage there. So we had a state around here, I'm presuming. 
Right, this one, we're going to make that into a state. And sure, we'll do that. Doesn't cost a huge amount, and it's, it was quite a few points, I believe. And so, let's actually have a look at our admin capacity, or governing capacity. We have 1,200 out of 1,600. Not too bad, I believe we'll get more soon from another tech knowledge. In two levels, we'll get another 250. That's not bad. And how we actually... We are an Emperor level, aren't we? Yes, we are. I wonder if we get some of the burger policies out. Perhaps at some point, but not right now. Oh, there's a bit of a rebellion there. Okay, so Denmark. Actually, I'm just going to take those. Take your money. Okay, you don't want to give me that much. I'll go with that one. That way we don't need to worry about the Noble Rebellion there. So we don't actually need to worry about... Oh, it's still going there. Okay, never mind. Right, we got the transports there. We'll just take them to Shetlands for the time being. Hungary joined the coalition against... I didn't actually look at the coalition map mode. Probably a mistake. Well, it's Hungary. It's Mecklenburg. Holland. Probably Muscovy. Kazakhstan has ended. Sweden can't join yet. But yeah, Holland, Hungary, and Mecklenburg. I could easily beat them. Okay, Osnabrück, that's not a problem. And the nobility loyalty has increased, so we can actually grab more lands for the estates. We've got 81% now. That's pretty good. Great Hall of War against Mali, Dagon, and Jen. Now then, do we have... Ooh. Mission Nilgard could use a... Uh, cathedral. Magdeburg and the Coalition. Alright, then let's increase our manpower in the meanwhile. Brunswick and the Coalition. I don't think... If they dare attack, then they're gonna lose. Reputation sabotage. Ooh. Although, we do have diplomats available, so might as well send in... At least one, less than two outraged countries. Muscovy and the coalition. That gives us some time to strengthen our position here a little bit. Also, does our capital... Oh, Volga's and the coalition. Okay. We do have build slots here, I think. Hmm, but do I want to build a castle here? Not necessarily. I mean, defending capital would be important, to be fair. At the same time, that would allow them to go between the force here without any remorse. Which is not what we want, to be fair. So... Hmm. I'm just looking if there's any good place for these. I mean, once we get... Well, Bergen's would be ideal place for it, actually. Just doesn't have the build slot yet. On the other hand, to Trondelag, we could operate that to level 2, couldn't we? I'm not converting anything. Now, I wonder, Orat, how strong are you? Uh, you got 23,000. 21, so, oh, you're fighting a war against Ming again. So, you're a bit busy. Brandenburg entered the coalition. So, what I'm thinking is, if I... They don't have a huge army. If I was to declare war, who would join? Mongolia and Yarkland, or Yarkand, rather. And then Udege. Udege. Oh, that one, okay. Mongolia and Yarkand is over here. We've got a lot of <laughs> power projection still. Alrighty then. Now, we didn't win the Relators War, which is a bit unfortunate, but we did do a. Pretty well in that war, to be fair. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay, um, do we have a lot of rebellions? Potentially, yes. I want to take the Unrest Advisor for the time being. It's a bit expensive. It's level 3, though, so we should get rid of some of the rebellions. Crimean Separatists, at least. 
and maybe some of the Swedish separatists somewhere down the line, and the Finnish separatists possibly as well. Now then, uh, we're still waiting for the points to actually get the technology, but we are actually out of time for this episode. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. Other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.